The Flip Fruits add-on version 175 just released and this is a quick overview about the things that has changed. First let me say that this new version is compatible with Blender up to version 4.1. Let me begin with improvements. The CMD-based render while baking function has been improved to be able to continue rendering from the last rendered frame while baking is in progress. That will avoid to not overwrite already rendered frames as example. And when installing the assets they will now automatically set to be imported in the append mode instead of the default append and reuse data method. The difference is this. Let's take a look to the firewater set. When drag and drop everything into the viewport and let's say you would like to use a second object to be simulated, while being in the reuse mode this will mean that all changes you do on one object will also be transferred to the other object. And that does not happen when we are in the append mode. If you would like to change the method of this by yourself, take a look to this field in the Assets browser. Follow preferences means that the default method can be set up in the preferences for file path. And if you are working with add-ons like RDB Lab or Self Fracture, you will be happy about that the new Flip Fluids version can now export many many obstacles by up to 75 times faster than our previous versions. So if using these add-ons you should make sure to enable the checkbox for Fracture optimizations. This will not work for imported Alembic data, like from the old fracture modifier as example, as this will be seen as one object. However, for imported fracture simulations the code already has been improved in the past. And when not working with so many objects, we recommend highly to disable this new optimizations. And now I will show you four new features from what the last one is my personal favorite. Let's go! Number 1. Batch rendering has been added to the Blender menu and also got a hotkey to be launched. You should always make sure that your actual scene has been saved before starting, just to avoid confusion when the render output looks unexpected. Number 2. Grid information has got a place in the Flip Fluid Simulation panel, what was a requested feature to have a good overview about different displayed simulation grids. Number 3. Alembic Export Scaling. When using our CMD based Alembic Exporter you will now find a scale field that make it more comfortable for you to export your animation in a desired size. And number 4. Force Field Whites for Whitewater Particles. Yes, I think this one is a game changer as it brings more realism to your simulations. This new feature makes it possible to affect white water more independent from the liquid. The way it works is simple. Just set up the desired force field white in the gravity and force fields panel and bake your simulation. Something you should know is that form particles are not yet influenced and are dependent on the movement of the liquid. So please understand the foam field as a placeholder for later development work. And if you are looking for making the fluid surface reacting less to zero on a force field, decreasing the value for fluid particles is the right way. Yes. That was all for this time, just let me tell you that also some bugs were fixed and if you would like to read more about this update you will find a link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.